What's going on Black Gun Owners Education? My name is Jeffrey Howell and today I'm going to be talking about how to fly with your firearms on a commercial airline. I mean, this is going to be a real life situation because I'm actually flying from my current state of Rhode Island to the state that I'm moving to which is Florida on Southwest Airlines. So once I knew that I was actually flying on Southwest, one of the first things I did was I printed out the information off their website on what to do when you're actually flying with your firearms. And it says, firearms must be encased in a hard-sided lock container that is of sufficient strength to withstand normal handling as follows. And it says, a firearm in a hard-sided lock container may be placed inside a soft-sided unlocked suitcase. And that's what my scenario is. It's going to, mine is actually going to be placed in a, in a lock container inside a soft roller bag because that's technically considered a soft container. So let me slide this back a little bit and I'm going to show you all. Here's my soft soft-sided roller bag here. See, it's all flimsy, it's not hard, it's a nice soft container. And let me show you what I'm actually gonna be, what my, 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 my firearms are actually in. They're inside these right here. These are my lock the containers that I have my firearms in. And let me show you how they're situated there. Of course, they're unlocked right now. In this one, I've got my Taurus PT-809, nine millimeter, and my Glock 22 and 40 cal. And if you look, you see that my actual ammunition is in there. I've got my ammunition, and the rule for the ammunition is it must be in a, in a container, the original container, or another container. They just can't be in there loose, but they can go in the same lock, lockable container as the firearms. And there's something else I want to show you on here. There's an actual cable that you actually put on. They have a little slot that you slide into, and I'm going to show you a little bit, um, a little bit later why that's important because I did something with that. So I'm gonna show you all exactly what I did to make that effective for me. Now that's this one. Let me show you my other container, my other lock case rather. And this one I've got my Springfield XDS 9mm and my Ruger LCP 380. And once again, I've got my ammunition and its original containers inside of there. So won't be no issue. So let me go ahead and lock these bad boys up. Because I don't want no issues when it comes time to fly. Because I said it must be locked, so make sure they're locked. The keys. Alright. Bad boy's locked. Once again, my cable's on there nice and strong. Lock this one up real good. Oh, my cable's trying to come out on this one. Hold on. Make sure my cable's in there. There it is. And you'll see why that why why I'm making sure the cable's on there. You don't have to put the cable on there, but I'm gonna show you my purpose of putting the cable on there. I'm making sure it's on there. Alright, so they're both in there, they're both locked. Now let me show you what I'm talking about with the cable, what I did. Now I saw one video where someone had took the cable and wrapped it around the handle of their of their uh of their suitcase and they said that was to deter the baggage handlers from you know trying to take their firearms knowing that this firearms in, inside their luggage so I went one step further since I have a frame inside here let me show you the frame here the actual frame that the handle goes into I wrap my cable around that to make that a deterrent for them to try and actually take because for them to actually take this they're gonna have to either have some strong bolt cutters or they're gonna have to break the entire suitcase in order to get it out. And also, as you see, there's a towel. I'm, I'm laying a towel down along my frame so that when I put my, uh, my put the, the case on there, the uh, locked case, it uh, has a little bit of a uh, cushioning so it's just not grinding up against the, against the, uh, the frame of the, uh, of the handle carrier there. So, per, per Southwest Airlines, this is supposed to be good to go, right? So let me go ahead and we'll put all my other items in here because what I'm doing is this is going to be my, the bag that my workout gear going because I'm going to work out while I'm down there. So I'm going to start putting stuff in here. Slide it down just a little bit. Start getting stuff in here. Fitting it in there one way or the other. Just so it'll have a little cushion and I'll put it along the sides there. At the bottom, put the workout gear in there. I mean, it's very minimum cushioning, but... You know what? Something I think is better than nothing at all. So I'm just going to slide that on in there. And they say sometimes they actually ask for you to um, to open the container if need be. 
and that's fine. I just got minimal stuff in here anyway, so it's not like it's a big deal. So slide pushing like my socks in, little gaps between between to give a little cushioning here and there, you know. Just trying to do a little extra. Not none of this was said that it was required, but we all know how they handle baggage at these air, airlines, so. so I've squeezed all that in there so far. And then put my couple of my little t-shirts I'm wearing. Throw those in there as well. And let me go ahead and seal this up. Or rather, not seal it up. All I'm doing is basically just zipping it up at this point. Now, per Southwest Airlines website, I am good to go. Now, what I'm gonna do is on the on another part of this video, or rather the next part of this video, you're gonna see I'm actually gonna go to the to the to the airlines ticket counter and hopefully be able to show you all how how easy it is to actually fly with firearms. But All right, I'm here at the airport, so let's see how it goes. Can you just get around? Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, just to let you know, I am traveling with firearms. In your, um, in your suitcase? Yes, in here. Okay, you'll have to wait for one of the full serve agents. This is just for backdrop. Okay. So you'll have to fill out the, the paperwork. So if you want to wait for one of those next two available agents. I go on the full serve. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, all right, so I was just told I have to go down to the full serve agent. So let's go to the full serve agent. Phone turned off for some reason. Again, guys are just dropping them off. I have phone on so. <sighs> All right. Sitting here waiting in line. It's only a couple of people in front of me, but at least I know that now that if I'm trying to firearms on uh, Southwest, I have to come over to the full serve, full service line. That's good to know. Looks like only a few more moments here, y'all. Um, all right. Let's have next. Hold on. Doing great. How you doing today? Last name is Howell. Am I right? Where's my ID? Here we go. Yeah, he said they no last night, so I'm already here. You leave me at nine. I have no idea. Just so you know. I do have uh, I do have firearms pretty quick. Okay. Did you, did you check your bag there? Yes, I already took it. Yeah. Yeah. Which one is the fire? This one right here. Address, city, zip phone, and signature. We'll certainly do. Thanks. So now I gotta fill up my address. You're so sweet. This is my second cup. Yeah, I had I had a um Dunkin' Donuts. I had the two eggs, yeah, yeah, yeah. the bacon and yeah. cheese for breakfast. This is my second cup I of coffee. Tell Anya, legs. What? That you're starting to yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'm losing my weight, but I'm like happy. Mm, that's so high. my best friend, I can show you, I'm so happy. She's been at the Barbie on the escapades. She's all over Europe and yeah. Japan. And she had two kids. And I'm just, I want to stay with her. This is something I haven't done in 25 years. I oh love being God. small again. So she's back high school. That's her right there. Isn't that awesome? This year. Wow. Mm -hmm. She lost 18 pounds. 
Yeah, you feel so good once you do. Oh, that's fine. And all he says is the forearms declaration you had to fill out. <clears throat> Here you go, ma'am. Thank you. Do you Here's want a fresh pot? No, this is my second cup. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Figure tea. No, she does. But I got her on it, so I'm happy. Do you mind putting this in? I'm sorry. Okay, no problem at all. Thank you. So he's had to sit here inside his suitcase in, yeah. in, anywhere or just over uh, inside? Just on the top of it. Just on the top, so like here's fine. Oh, you know what? Where, where's the case? Is it? The cases are right here. I got two cases. Two. Yes. Um, you know what? Right Let's here, put, here. Um, hold on one second. I'm going to put it on. Okay. okay. Sorry. No problem. Thank you. Perfect. Just like that. That's yep. good? That's perfect. All right. So what she just did was she taped the... The declaration on the actual cases that they that they're in. Yeah. All right. So that's good. Thank you. So that is the second one. Oh, yeah. All right. So you are all. Awesome. I give you the thing. Yeah. Okay. So the gate number is twenty one. Okay. Gate twenty one. Yes. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too. Thank you. All right. So far, so good. So I'm headed off to go to the uh, go through the actual security checkpoint now. So. That was not bad, not bad at all. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and stop right now and then I'll uh, talk to you, finish this up on the other side. What's going on everyone? I'm here in uh, Jacksonville, Florida now and I actually went into and talked to the agent already to see if I could go to the special agent and I invertedly forgot to start recording so it's going to be a little bit out of sync so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut to my conversation with the special baggage agent to see what she told me when I had when I went in there to ask and see if I needed to go in there to get my baggage. Alright so my apologies I forgot to start recording I'm going to address that in the next clip you see as well. Alright so here we go. I actually flew with it inside the, the case, inside a suitcase in a hard case, I don't have to come into the special, Correct. it just goes right in there. Yeah, because we, okay. we don't know the bags there. If it's something obvious, they check it, it's got locks on it, then I gotta check an ID. But if it's inside a bag and we can't tell that it's a firearm, no, you don't have to check in with us. Perfect, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, so I just wanted to go verify if I had to go to the special, um, special agent to see if I had to get my bags and stuff and she just told me no I uh, apologize I kind of forgot to start recording before I walked in there but uh so I'm here in, here in Jacksonville Florida so now I'm just waiting for my bag to come off the uh, carousel over here so so far so good I just hope that everything is uh, is in order and we shall see so I'll be checking back in in one moment just to make sure that everything is good to go All right, so I've made it to the final destination here in Florida. So I've got the bag here. So let me open it up because I couldn't open it up in the airport to show exactly how everything is still situated. So move, don't like nothing's been bothered or touched. And we move everything here to the side. I got a little, I got assistance now. So everything is not just me trying to do it for myself. So I couldn't show you at the airport, but when I said they put the tag on there, I'm gonna, of course, wipe out my information, but this is the Southwest Airlines um, declaration, firearm declaration tag right here that they had me fill out, address, and so forth on there. So, all right, so I'm gonna take that off now. Let me open it up, make sure everything is good to go. All right. So still, everything is in there like it was. PT, PT uh, 809, the uh, Glock 22, good to go. Ammunition. Let's look at the other one. And here we go. Springfield XDS 9mm and the Ruger LCP 380. All ammunition, nothing's been touched. You couldn't get into it, of course. So there it is. From start to finish, I've showed you how you can actually fly with your firearms from on a, on a commercial airlines. Remember, I flew from Rhode Island here to Florida, and it was no problems. Remember, the biggest thing to do is make sure you check with the airlines to verify exactly what their what their regulations are what their rules are for doing it now these of course are just for pistols these are four pistols so if you're actually traveling with say long guns such as rifles or shotgun it's gonna probably be a different process like remember i told you when i stopped to the lady and she told me that if it was just a case by itself with nothing but guns in it then i had to go to the special agent so i didn't have to do that so there it is jeffrey howell for black gun owners and education this is this has been a review on how to fly with your firearms on a commercial airline
Peace out.